monster marine reptiles to amphibians more than 30 feet long. Here are 17 terrifying creatures mistaken for dinosaurs. 17. Dacosaurus At around 16 feet long, this critter was around during the late Jurassic to the early Cretaceous and was known for its sharp, serrated teeth. Although resembling crocodilians, it had an unusually streamlined body with a triangular head and a fin tail that would have made for an excellent swimmer. The shape of the teeth indicates they would have torn off chunks of the prey's flesh, which suggests these creatures were probably apex predators. 16. Elasmosaurus Plesiosaurs were characterized by their extremely long necks, which could extend for 20 feet or more. Their fossils were initially discovered in Kansas and found in other parts of North America, and they indicate the creatures lived more than 80 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous. Weighing an estimated 4,400 pounds and measuring about 34 feet long overall, it was thought to prey on fish and would have been a slow swimmer. 15. Leo Pluridon These pliosaurs were carnivorous marine reptiles that appeared around 160 million years ago and lived during the middle to late Jurassic. Now, during that time, it was an apex predator in the waters that submerged what is now Europe. With a length that could exceed 20 feet, their skulls made up about one-fifth of that size, with a weight estimated at around 3,700 pounds. Experts think that the animal's large noggin suggests that it had an olfactory sense capable of detecting certain smells within its environment. Now, that ability, coupled with its propensity to swim at high speeds, means that it could have been an ambush predator. Their fossils have been found mainly in England and in France. 14. Dimorphodon Given the small stature, you might have been tempted to call these critters bird brains because they had relatively large heads occupied by very small brains. Now, these animals could fly, although how well is a matter of debate. Adults only went about a meter long with a wingspan of 1.4 meters. But experts think they could have been one of the first larger vertebrate species to take wing. And they must have been a scary sight because some sources describe their appearance as that of a pterodactyl bat hybrid with the head of a T-Rex. While it was in fact a pterosaur, it was related to dinosaurs and lived around 200 million years ago in the early Jurassic. 13. Eupicaria The fossils of these creatures have led experts to believe they had a limited capability to walk bipedally. That's based on the creature's hind limbs being a bit shorter than its forelimbs. It existed during the Triassic period around 245 million years ago in what is now South Africa. And that means that this little lizard was around well before the time that dinosaurs evolved in the Ladinian Age. It's described as having a lean body, a long tail, and a mouth filled with little needle-sharp teeth. Very small indeed, it only measured about 21 inches long, so it's the most minuscule critter on the list, but it would give rise to some huge animals. Classified as an archosaur, it belonged to a group that included extinct non-avian dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and crocodilian relatives that died out. 12. Glyptodon Now, have you ever considered driving a prehistoric marmal? Now, if that sounds like something from out of the Flintstones, consider this. Glyptodon was a marmal that lived around two and a half million years ago and was the approximate size of a Volkswagen Beetle automobile. It had squat legs and a rounded carapace that kind of made it resemble a turtle, but it was actually a forerunner of armadillos and is also related to anteaters. Now, that shell was heavily armored with bony scutes, and they also had a heavy armadillo a tail that they could have swung around like a baseball bat. 11. In a transavia. These beasts were known as Gorgonopsids, a group characterized by their long saber-toothed canines. These creatures were the largest of the lot, measuring nearly 12 feet long, and those teeth could grow nearly 6 inches. About the size of a bear, it was fast and vicious, a killing machine capable of taking down larger prey. They lived before the dinosaurs around 260 million years ago during the late Permian and were found mostly in northern Russia. 
10. Basilosaurus. Measuring about the size of a small ship at close to 60 feet long, it's easy to see why these immense prehistoric cetaceans were initially mistaken for dinosaurs. Now, a clue to that mistake is in the very name. Basilosaurus translates to king lizard. Now, in fact, these creatures were mammals and considered to be the ancestors of modern-day whales and porpoises. Weighing an estimated 60 tons, experts say these marine mammals would have had a bite force of 3,600 psi, or 3,600 pounds per square inch. Did you know Basilosaurus was one of the largest known creatures that managed to survive the KT extinction event some 66 million years ago? 9. Prionosicus Fossils of this creature have been found in Brazil and have been dated to the Middle Permian period about 270 million years ago. With an estimated length of some 30 feet, the length of its skull alone measured more than 5 feet. No wonder why experts say this is probably the largest amphibian that ever existed. It likely had a crocodilian appearance though, very similar to the gurriel, with a long tapered snout, a long body with short legs, sharp teeth, and a tail adapted for navigating the waters. Now, chances are it too was an ambush predator that fed off of fish and other aquatic animals. It belonged to a group of animals that occupied the ecological niche of alligators and crocodiles during the Permian. 8. Quetzalcoatlus Dinosaurs stayed on the land and did not take flight until they evolved into birds, millions of years later. So, while this winged animal kind of does look and sound like a dinosaur, it was really a pterosaur, or a flying reptile that was actually related to the dinosaurs. Remains of the fossils found in Texas in the early 1970s dated to around 68 million years ago, and indicated that the animals had a wingspan of around 36 feet and could have weighed upwards of 550 pounds. Now that is really amazing since it is estimated these pterosaurs could fly 10 days straight at 15,000 feet, all while maintaining speeds of 80 miles per hour. 7. Boar Croc Now, its official name is Caprosicus, which means boar crocodile, and it got that name due to the large boar-like teeth in its fossilized skull. Now, it's really a large reptile that dates back to the late Cretaceous about 95 million years ago. Around 20 feet long, it had three sets of tusk-like teeth that protruded from the upper and lower jaws. Experts say it was a terrestrial predator that could effectively hunt prey either in the water or across the Central African floodplains it once inhabited. 6. Shastasaurus Ichthyosaurs were also referred to as fish lizards, and with a weight of around 150,000 pounds and measuring almost 70 feet long, they did not get much bigger than Shastasaurus. Even with those dinosaur-like dimensions, this was a marine reptile, and not surprisingly, it's the largest one yet found. Experts think the creature had a slender build with a short, toothless neck, suggesting it fed on soft-bodied prey like cephalopods. The fossils date back to around 235 million years and have been found from China to North America, where it was named for Mount Shasta in California. 5. Mosasaurs. Now, these beasts have become a much more familiar name to us since being featured in Jurassic World a few years back. Now, a lot of people thought they might have been some sort of dinosaur. But of course, as we mentioned previously, dinosaurs were terrestrial critters, and these animals that belonged to the mosasaurs were carnivorous aquatic lizards. They lived about 70 million years ago and were identified as huge creatures whose legs and feet had modified into flippers, with the front ones larger than the hind flippers. The largest animals could grow to around 56 feet, and they could weigh a stout 30,000 pounds. With jaws filled with huge conical teeth, they preyed on animals including pterosaurs and plesiosaurs, and they were pretty well-traveled creatures too. The fossils have been found around the world and they could evidently survive in either freshwater or saltwater environments. 4. Sarcosicus The remains of this huge beast were initially discovered in the Sahara Desert, not exactly where you'd expect to find the fossils of a prehistoric aquatic monster. But around 112 million years ago, the area was covered in water, and Sarcosicus 
flourished as a dominant apex predator. This ancient crocodile relative measured nearly 40 feet long and could weigh nearly 9 tons, far more massive than its modern-day counterpart, the saltwater croc. It's thought that this beast may have even preyed upon the dinosaurs of its day. How do you think that went down? 3. Tylosaurus. Now, we just mentioned mosasaurs a segment or two back. Now, here's another member of that family. This particular species, Tylosaurus, could reach lengths of around 46 feet and weighed around 7 tons. Now, did you know that this one was closely related to the monitor lizards and snakes of today? They had a long snout that was cylindrical, and it could have been used for purposes of combat or for self-defense. Experts say this animal would have swiftly navigated through the seas thanks to its long long eel-like body. It could swim along at a steady rate, then suddenly project itself forward with a huge burst of speed to overtake its prey. And that diet could include birds, marine reptiles, and even dinosaurs. It would have been a dominant predator during the late Cretaceous, around 86 million years ago. 2. Scutosaurus this one is known as the shield lizard. It was a reptile that was well armored with scutes or large plates of armor lining its body. But unlike most reptiles, this animal supported its great weight with legs that were located underneath its body, not off to the sides. Now, this must have appeared like an intimidating creature covered in bony armor with spikes projecting from its skull. Nearly 10 feet long, it was massive, but still considered relatively small, and its strong, short legs actually hit its odds of survival. Due to all that weight, the animal could not run for extended periods of time, meaning that larger predators had plenty of time to attack it. They lived in Russia around 254 million years ago. 1. Dimetrodon with its reptile-like appearance and physical makeup, it's no surprise that this critter is often mistaken for a dinosaur. But they lived around 295 million years ago, and that was a long time before dinosaurs first appeared. Dimetrodon is actually a non-mammalian synopsid, or a creature that is more closely related to mammals than it is to reptiles, although it's not a direct ancestor of mammals. Traditionally, they have been referred to as mammal-like reptiles, did you get all that? Great. Well, Dimetrodon's most prominent physical feature was its neural spine sail that was formed on its back from long spines that grew out of its vertebrae. And it wasn't there just for style points either. That sail served as a type of thermoregulator that could heat and cool the animal's body. And it was also likely used for displays of courtship. The four-legged critters could measure more than 15 feet long and weigh more than 550 pounds, making them among the largest apex predators of the time.